Pro Wrestling This Week continues now, and our viewers out on the West Coast and in the Texas area will remember the sheep herder Jonathan Boyd. Well, Jonathan is now in the Memphis area, and he's doing some very strange things. Uh, bizarre might even be a better word for it, Joe. As a matter of fact, we're going to go now to a special interview segment with Lance Russell as he talks to Jonathan Boyd, and Jonathan Boyd proceeds to explain the rules and regulations surrounding a New Zealand death box match. Let's go to Lance Russell. <laughs> what in the Sam Hill are you bringing out here? <laughs> what do you got, Jonathan? What I've got here. Hey, first, let me ask you this. You got any more cousins? Seems you're minus a cousin right now. You know what? You're really bloody smart, aren't you? You see what happened there? Once again, you bloody Yanks got to us. But I'll tell you something, you stinking bloody Yanks. I'm outsmarting you. And to your question, yes, I got cousins all over the bloody world, and they're just like Rip Morgan. They're like Bigfoot, and you know what Luke's like. But hey, I might have underestimated this bloody Jeff Jarrett. I told you people I would send him away, and I didn't do it. And I'm out here eating my bloody words, and I don't like it, because generally my words are a staple diet. But I might be wrong. Maybe I am, maybe I'm not. Maybe Jeff Jarrett is a man, and maybe he's not. You understand what I'm trying to say? He has signed a New Zealand death box match where we're going to put this box in the centre of the ring and the winner is the one that can beat the living daylights out the other one, put him in the death box and shut it. You understand that? Now, he has agreed to the match, but I have the contract here and there's no bloody name on it yet. I just want him to be a man and come out here right now, because I know he's back there laying somewhere, and come out and sign this New Zealand death box match. Just so I know that he's going to turn up and do it, and that Eddie Marlin and his daddy and King Lawler will not talk him out of it, will not protect him. They, I don't care, I want to see it in writing because this is the worst type of match there ever is. You don't bloody realise. If you're a man, Jeff Jarrett, come out here and sign this, but maybe you're not a man. Has Eddie Marlin told you not to do it? I think he bloody has. You know what? I'm sick and tired of you people getting on the bloody skateboards all the time. We're the greatest wrestlers in the world, and I'm the greatest wrestler. Well, look what we got here. Look what we got here. I've agreed to the match. You've agreed to the match. I've backed down from any of your challenges. How about more? Do you see I've your name here? How about any of your challenges? Do you see your name here? No, I'll sign it. you sign it? Yeah. Hey, you explain one more time about this match. All right. This is as simple as this. We get in, put this in the center of the ring, we get in there, and we beat one another after death. If you're a man, you can do it to me, but I know you can't. The winner, the winner of the match is the one who gets the other one in the box. In the box and shuts okay. that lid. Why do you have to use a coffin? This is some New Zealand thing that I never heard of before in my life. It's gonna be a coffin to him, but it's a New Zealand death box to me. Now you've signed it, right? Signed. Is, is, is his name on it? Is his name on it? His name is on now, it. Now, Eddie Marlin or his daddy can't get him out this, can he? He's not. He already and agreed to the match, Jonathan. Your and I'm not going to. Did you read this? Hey, come up here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. I've read it. You've read it? Have you read all the conditions? Has he read all the conditions? He signed the thing. Jonathan, will you quit wasting our time here and going off? I'm to you. Maybe you're a man and maybe you're not. But this is what we're going to do because you know what? You're not going to be in there alone. You're going to be in there. <laughs>
He signed it. He's crazy. He signed it. You did it. not say anything about a snake being he in the book. He signed it. You said it was a book. You should read what I write. It's in writing. You don't read the fine print. Jonathan, you're crazy. Will you get you and your snake out of here? You didn't say the thing in that box. Hey, Alan, you can't protect your bloody grandson now because that is not a boa. That's a Burmese python, and it bites. It bites. Hey, Jonathan, get your damn snake out of here and just go out. Take it out. Get that thing out. I think now you know exactly what we're talking about when we talk about John.